Hi, uh, this little video is about route inspection of networks, uh, which is just finding a trail through a network, passing through every arc at least once, so that the total weight of the trail is as small as possible. Let's have a look at a network straight away, and the kind of problem uh, that a postman might have, say, delivering letters along a series of streets, or uh, a policeman patrolling streets, etc., etc., a common problem in network theory. Now, how do we find a route through that network uh, such that the total w distance we travel, the total weight of all the arcs, is as small as possible, but we must go along each arc at least once? Well, first of all, notice that the total weight of all those arcs is 178. Now, our route is going to be at least that, uh, because that's every arc once. And so that becomes the lower bound, and that's the, the smallest value that our answer or our solution can have is that value, 178. Now, we might have to do more than that. Let's have a see. Now, the order of each of the nodes there is the same. It's four. Each of those nodes has four arcs incident to it. Now, that means it's a Eulerian graph, which means that we can find a trail easily uh, where every arc is passed through once and once only. Possible trail would be A, B, D, the one I've written here. How can I check that that's a possible trail? Well, it starts and ends at A, uh, but because the order of the nodes at A is 4, it has to visit A at some point during the trail. So it, A will appear three times on our possible trail. All the others will appear twice because each one gets visited and left twice. And so we just check through and there are two B's, two C's, two D's and two E's on our list. And so that is a possible trail, providing, of course, that it is a trail through the network. It has a total weight of 178, so it has at the lower bound of the weight. Now, this has a lower bound of 138. Can we actually do it in 138? We know we can't do it in less than that. But this time, notice that two of our nodes have odd order, which means that it's semi-Eulerian, uh, which means that we could find a trail which visits every arc starting at D, ending at B, or vice versa. But if we are to start and end at the same place, uh, then we have to do some extra travelling through the network. And I think it's quite clear to see what we have to do is effectively join B and D by having two more arcs uh, through, through the point E. In other words, connecting B and D by the quickest possible route. Now, that makes all of the nodes of even order, and so we now have a Eulerian network, and we can start and finish anywhere we like. Uh, let's do it with D, and find a possible trail, starting and ending at D. Once again, notice that D must appear three times, because it's of order four, and it's the start and finish. A, C, and B are now have order 4, and so they must appear twice in our list. But E has to appear three times, because we have to visit and leave it three times uh, to cover all the possible arcs. The total weight is now 138 plus 8 plus 9, 155. So that's the smallest distance uh, we can do a route inspection of that network. Let's have a look at another one. Now, this time we have four nodes of odd order, and only one of even order. Now, that is neither Eulerian or semi-Eulerian, so we're going to have to add arcs to that in order to um, do a route inspection. Our lower bound of 120, we're bound to have to go further than that through this network. We have four odd nodes. Uh, that's two. We have to find pairs of odd nodes. Well, the pairings of odd nodes, possible six of them, and those are the sort of shortest distances between uh, the various odd nodes. 
It is occasionally necessary to perform Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest route between two nodes. Uh, usually um, at this level, though, you won't have to do that, but beware, it might be a, a possibility. Now we look at the various pairings of odd nodes, A, B, D, E, A, D and B, E, and A, E and B, D. And that's actually, that's the total number of possible pairings of the odd nodes, three of them. And we see that the one of least uh, total weight is A, B and D, E. So all we have to do is to duplicate or to add extra arcs along those two uh, arcs and we have got a Eulerian graph now and a possible trail is one like that. Once again, if I start and end at A, I must visit A three times. Everywhere else is going to be visited twice. And that's a quick check. Total weight, 120 plus 12 plus 13, 145. Now, we've just performed what we call the Chinese Postman algorithm. Let's just run through quickly what that says. First of all, we find all the nodes of odd order we found there, and we found that there were four of them. For each pair of odd nodes, find the connecting path of minimum weight. Well, we did that here, six of them, and those are the minimum connecting uh, distances or weights uh, between those pairs. Pair up all the odd nodes so that the sum of connecting paths from step two is minimized. That's what we did here. We, we found the three possible pairings and we found the minimum one, which was this one, A, B, and D, E. On the graph, we added extra arcs along the minimum weight paths from step three. Those were these extra lines connecting A and B and D and E. And now we found a trail containing every arc in the new graph, which is now Eulerian, because all its uh, nodes have uh, even order. Now this is the Chinese postman algorithm. It's down to this gentleman, who was Chinese. He devised this in 1962 um, for as a, as a problem for helping postmen decide on their routes. Uh, Chinese, why? Because that's what his nationality was. He was Chinese. Now, um, what happens if this gets bigger? What happens if we have lots of uh, uh, odd nodes in a, in a network? Well, let's just think about pairings. If you've got two items, there's only one arrangement of pairs that we can have. There's only one pair that we can get out of two items. But if we have uh, four items, we can get three possible pairings. Six items gives us 15. Eight. 105. 10, 945. In fact, this monster is the formula for it. Uh, so if uh, we had, say, 20 odd nodes, then there are that many possible pairings. Just over half a billion possible pairings. So this algorithm gets very difficult very quickly. Let's have a look at something which is approaching, getting a little bit more difficult. In this case, uh, the total weight of all the uh, arcs is 159, so that's our lower bound. But look, there are six odd nodes, and so we're not going to get away with 159 on this. In fact, all of the nodes are odd. All of them have order three. That means that there are 15 possible pairings. Now, in theory, we should work through all the, f uh, the 15 possible pairings and see which one gives us a combination of three of minimum weight. However, inspection is probably the best way of doing this. We should be able to see which three connections are going to give us uh, the least weight. And it's pretty obvious that A, B, C, E and D, F are, are going to be the shortest possibilities. Let's just connect them. You can see that We've done, now done it. We've now got a, a Eulerian graph with uh, all the nodes of order 4. We can now show that the total weight of, of the route through is up there is 192. And there's a possible route through that network. It's not the only one, it's the possible one. Let's just check that it works. 
all of the uh, six uh, nodes have order four and let's just see what obviously the first and the last are a and the, we visit a once in the middle so a has got to appear three times in our list all the rest have to appear twice and as does that case there are two b's two c's two d's two e's and two f's yes providing that's a possible uh, actual route providing the connections work that is a possible um, inspection route through the uh, network.